Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and with only one day until patch 2.3 of Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn, we are looking for any news that we can get. Now, while we are expecting patch notes, permanent patch notes, or completed patch notes, I should say, a little bit later in today, today being Monday, July 7th, as I'm recording this, we did get a little bit more information about a feature that I know as a Final Fantasy XI player, I've been excited for. I've been interested to see how they were going to implement it in Final Fantasy XIV by making it fair, maybe not as time investing, but still for the hardcore, definitely could put in some time. And that feature is The Hunt. Now, last I spoke about the hunt, I wasn't really sure where I stood on this feature. A lot of things made it just seem more like a chore. You have daily hunts and you have weekly hunts. Daily hunts are lesser mobs that can be just common enemies out in the world, maybe even fate enemies from what I'm reading in this patch right here. While the elite marks that the Grand Company asks you to do on a weekly basis that are the same for everyone are considered a little bit weaker and are not that rewarding, but they are an extra bonus for those people who want to take that feature slow, who want to treat the hunt very slowly and work towards their goals at their own pace. However, for those of us who like wasting time in the overworld, we weren't really sure what it meant. Does that mean that everyone's just going to go to this elite mark, zerg it down, and then not do any elite hunts for the rest of the week? Well, we actually got some clarification on that. It turns out that even though you have those weekly elite hunts that the Grand Company is going to be giving you, they actually are still upholding some of the information that I said it seemed they left out in the past. Now, originally they said that the weekly Grand Company one would be a rank B elite, one of the easier elites, soldable about by an item level 90 player, most of them at least. And then on top of that, there would be rank A and S hunts that people could go out and attempt. And it seems that's exactly how it's going to be. The weekly Grand Company one is going to be a weaker elite that isn't as difficult and doesn't have as great a rewards as the rank A and rank S elites. However, if you're looking for a challenge, you're looking for rarer items, and you're looking to just go out and enjoy open world content, you can go out and hunt as many elite hunts as you want in a week. You're not restricted to just doing that one weekly hunt. On top of that, there's going to be rare spawn conditions, like we said. We don't know exactly what it is. For what I'm guessing, it's going to be weather conditions, time of day, killing a certain amount of enemies in order to get it to spawn. And even just to prevent certain people from botting or camping one spot, the enemies don't always spawn in the exact same spot. For example, that bear we saw in the trailer, that may not be the only spawn place that that bear can actually be at. And to top it all off, if you're a little confused about where and what the conditions are, there are hunt scholars out in the world that can give you hints as to how you may want to spawn a rare beast. They're not going to flat out tell you how to do it, but they are going to give you very useful hints towards figuring it out yourself, if that's your caveat. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually really excited to get out into the open world and try and find all of the elite hunts and kill them. Now again, we have heard that the difficulty is going to vary greatly on the elite hunts, with the weaker ones being soloable about by an item level 90 player, and some of them being able to maybe be done with a companion, and then some of them requiring a party. I'm assuming a light party, maybe a full party would be best, a full party might be overkill, but there's not going to be a whole great deal of them that are that difficult. We're going to have them in all different zones like Mordona, Shroud, Thanalan, at least according to the achievements list on the patch notes, and overall, I'm more excited about this feature after this little clarification post, post that Yoshi P gave us today. One thing that's a little strange is how many allied marks the daily and weekly ones give. It seems to be an extremely low amount, so if you do want to do it the slow way, you still may be grinding a little bit more, but if you go for the rank B, uh, rank A, I'm sorry, and rank S elite hunts with some friends, or if you see somebody shouting said, hey, this, this elite is up, does anybody want to come kill it? then you could probably get some extra marks because the costs are actually looking pretty high in comparison to the market board rewards. So it's a feature that should get people out in the open world a little bit more. Although, of course, I'm sure there are people who will think it's not worth their time. And regardless of the excitement of going out into the open world, finding these hunts, killing them and getting all the achievements and things like that to go along with it, there are people who just simply won't care about this feature. I, for one, I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this feature in the comments below, because I've had to make quite a few videos about it, and I have quite a few on the way. But anyway, guys, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and be sure to come check out my Twitch channel. I'm actually going to be streaming patch 2.3 pretty much for the whole day when it first comes out. I know that I'm going to be unlocking Ramu as soon as the servers go live. I'm going to be skipping all the main story cutscenes. That's to not spoil it for anyone who may be at work or <clears throat> maybe just wants to experience it for themselves, despite wanting to see the Ramu fight. I don't know if I'll be getting into Savage Coil the day it comes out, having a few uh, problems within 
are static with a member who has something very important he needs to do. It's, uh, it's not his fault, but we definitely want him to take care of his real life problems. Real life before the game every time. So uh, be sure to come by, have some fun. We're going to be checking out all the new features of the patch, and I will see you guys there on the live stream. And until then, take care.